hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is a fall makeup look with a burgundy smoky eye and a bold uh, burgundy lip um, so to get started I'm going to do her eyebrows first I'm going to brush out her eyebrow hairs with a spoolie um, and then I'm going to fill them in with a Mac eyebrow pencil um, the pencil is actually very uh, what is the word specific pointy defined um it's not a thick um thick pencil so i can it's very precise so i'm going to mimic her um natural eyebrow hairs and just kind to make it as natural as possible and every time i am placing product in her brow i am combing them out with the spoolie so there won't just be like harsh lines we don't want you to be able to tell we just want to fill them in um just make it look a little natural and then brush out, just brush out the product and blend it in um, so it would, won't look so harsh. Um, now to clean them up, I'm going to use a concealer brush and I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I am carving out or cleaning up her brows. Um, so I try not to use a really really lighter color underneath the brow we don't want you know the halo effect or we don't want it to look um unnatural so try to use a concealer that's a little bit lighter to um the client's skin tone just a little bit and then i'm going to blend it out um not a lot a little product like i said we're going for a natural brow so not too much product and then i'm going to do the same thing to the other brow So after doing her brows, I took the rest of that concealer and placed it on her lid, blended it out. Then I set it with airspun powder just so we can start the eye makeup. Um, because we are using dark colors such as like the burgundy and black, I like um, using tape just so the fallout of the black won't go past, you know, her lid or where we want, you know, the black to go. So I think this makes the eyeshadow more defined and crispy and it looks more neat as well so I would definitely use this you can use this with any colors but I would definitely recommend using tape for um, dark heavy colors So to start off the eyeshadow, I am using the um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I am using a slight um, orange peach color as a transition. So above her um, crease, just so you know, our black can blend in. So when using black, I feel like it's important to focus on those transition colors. So it won't just be black and everything can flow together. So I'm using a mixture of uh, neutrals between orange and peaches just to create the perfect transition color. Um, so I'm using that. And as you can see, I'm focusing more uh, orange up top. So um, I think orange is a, a great transition color. And I am blending that out. Um, I would also recommend taking your time with this. Um, it's very important that you do get that gradient because we are using black and I know I keep repeating myself but we don't want it to look harsh or like they have a black eye or something so um, next as you can see we're creating a little more depth before the black and we're using um, a brown that's also in the same palette so taking a brown and um, defining her uh, crease even more and make sure you take your time to blend all of these out um, now I'm actually going to go in with the black. I say with black, you need a more precise brush, such as the one I'm using here. And I am focusing that on the outer part of her crease and kind of dragging it up along the tape, creating a wing. Um, and then I am, uh, make sure I'm blending it more 
into the middle of her lid and then I'm also going to take it into the um, crease as well. So you'll see me drag the product into the crease of the eye. Um, and then when doing this, I like to go back and forth between, you know, that blending brush and my black. So um, just making sure it's blending out perfectly. Like I said, take your time. And I'm just dragging that into the crease and blending, dragging and blending. Um, so after I did the same thing with the other eye, I am taking my Reveal 2 palette and the two burgundies at the bottom of the palette. I mix those together and I am placing that on the lid and I am blending that um, in with the black. So it creates that another uh, kind of gradient as well. And then I'm trying to go back and make sure that the black is still in the crease of her lid. Um, I do take a lot um, and I'm kind of, you know, pressing that into the lid. So it's very bold and gives us that uh, smoky look that we're going for. So after cleaning everything back up, I'm going to uh, gently remove the tape. And as you can see, it gave us that crisp, defined um, eyeshadow. And I am going to use that line as a guide for where we're going to put her winged liner. So this is an eyeliner I got from Sally's. I forgot, you know, the brand, but it's a black eyeliner. And I do love using... Um, the felt tip like dipping it I don't really do well with like the pins I feel like it doesn't just get as neat as I want it so um it's your preference but I am using you know her eyeshadow as a guide for her winged liner and making it um thick and I think it pulls the entire look together you can also use the tape like you can keep the tape on um it's up to you. I think that's a good way to do your eyeliner if you're just now learning, but, um, or if you're, you know, doing it on clients, but I just took the tape off and just used the, her eyeshadow as a guide. And then after the, uh, liner, I did put her lashes on off camera and then I sprayed some Milani, uh, setting spray slash primer. Um, onto her face before starting her foundation and I'm taking the Real Techniques Beauty Blender it is damp and then Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I am blending that into her skin so the thing about a beauty blender it does evenly distribute all the product so um, I'm taking the back end she recommended the back end but it doesn't really matter but I think because there's more surface area on you know the back end of the um, beauty blender it does make you know applying foundation a little easier so I am pressing that into her skin and making sure we have great coverage um, and then blend it you know during or blend it on her um, neckline and jaws and make sure you bring it down and kind of go into the hairline so it does blend evenly and looks great So after I feel like we have decent coverage, I'm going to take this Age Rewind Concealer. I think that's what it's called. I think it's Maybelline. And I'm just going to start highlighting. So underneath the eyes, the chin, I use the rest of the product on the nose and then the forehead. So now we're gonna take that pointy, uh, more precise end of the Beauty Blender and we're going to blend that all together. This is actually my favorite part. So um, making sure we got get all the way underneath the eyes and um, blending it all together. And then um, just kind of use a little as you go. So you don't want to go crazy with the highlighter, but just add more, you know, 
as you go so you can kind of see the look as you're going before you feel like it gets too bright so um, I'm blending that all in and then after I feel like that is complete we're going to go with the Anastasia cream contour kit and I'm taking the third shade at the top and then the first shade on the bottom um, and a, another concealer brush and I'm not taking that much because this stuff is very pigmented and a little goes a long way so all around the perimeter of her face and you know her jaws I am going to um, blend that all out through her hairline and um, buff it into her skin and make sure everything is kind of blending and um, bringing it up into her you know her ears and around her forehead so um, I did use another a bigger brush and then I did spray the brush with um, some more primer or setting spray just because it, you know the product was a little thick we wanted to loosen it up so after um, going back in with the beauty blender and making sure we got all the lines out before um, setting her face um, we're going to use the um, air spun powder that we use to set her eyelids and we're going to place that underneath the eyes and then I'm going to take a little bit and go up under her contour just to carve it out a little more and then all around her lips mouth and then her forehead and mattify everything um, so while that is baking I am taking this Ruby Kisses um, powder contour palette and I'm taking the two deeper shades and I am setting her contour as well as um, adding some um, dimensions and uh, slimming out her nose with the rest of it and then we're going to take the lighter shades and dust away the baking powder or the setting powder um, we don't want it to set too long that's how you can get like flashback flashback and it can look a little cakey so we're going to dust that away and then we are going to take these burgundy shades and I did mix a little bit of black with it and we're going to smoke out the bottom lash line and um, put that as close to the lash line as possible and blend it out so this gives it a more smoky look this is optional but I think it pulls the look together now um, I did go ahead and spray her face with the setting spray again and I'm going to take this BH cosmetics blush palette and I'm going to add some color back to her skin um, and place some pinks on um, the apples of her cheeks and this palette is very pigmented I had to learn that the hard way but um, make sure you kind of dust, dust off you know the excess that you get um, on your brush before putting that onto the cheeks now we're going to highlight and I'm taking the Carly Bible palette um, and I am placing the second and third shade on her nose her um, brow bone cheeks and as well as her um, cupid's bow on her lip these highlighters are actually very pigmented too so you just kind of got to be careful they're a little powdery which is why I choose to like spray the face before I put them uh, before I start highlighting um, and I also spray the face before blending her lashes with the mascara just so if she you know blinks and you know her face is wet after the mascara is on we don't want it to like run down her face or any of that so um, I'm blending the lashes and I do not know what this you know these lashes or this mascara is called but um, any mascara will work it might be Maybelline I actually think it is and then we're going to um, squeeze the lashes together and now I'm taking this NYX nude um, pencil or eyeliner pencil and I am going to open up her lid just a little bit and put that on her waterline lash line lower lash line um, this step is also optional but I think it ties the look together and then to finish off the eyes I am putting mascara on her bottom lashes after this I used a ColourPop um, matte lipstick and this is the final look so I hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video
Thanks. Bye.